Chiang Mai Gallery is one of the best textile galleries in Vientiane and sells an exclusive collection of exquisite fabrics made using naturally dyed silk, painstakingly handwoven on traditional looms. To preserve the weaving heritage of Lao, designs used are derived from antique textiles such as those commissioned by the ancient royal courts. Weaving, it was a pride of the Lao women. The Lao women, some foreigners told me that we are the best weavers from the north to the south, from the east to the west. I saw that every uh, tribe, uh, we, they have specific weaving skill. The Thai Dang women, they are very good weavers. They are, when we organize the competition of the best weaver, yeah, they always won the first prize. I still remember that one Japanese, she spent only one day $10,000 to buy bags and bags, bags and bags of the woven product. So about weaving in our country, right, in Laos, it is uh, very famous. Why famous is because we are, have to weaving for the scarf, for the Lao women, a bear is that we call sin or Lao skirt. Some people, they learn from their family, from their mom in the countryside, in the countryside. Or some people, they are just beginning to learn for they earn the money, for earn the money for living their lives. The sin is quite hard, you know. Sometimes they take for for long time. One, or it depends on the sin or last skirt. One week, two week, one month, it depends on on the on style or on style or colorful on the sin or uh, scarf also it's quite similar with the sin. So they do it as alternative income or cash come even because they plant rice and then during the after rice farming season women they start to do the weaving and men they do the woodwork and from the traditional women weavers, they do everything themselves. They start to plant the mimbri, to uh, layer the silk worm, to layer the silk, to uh, spin the the silk thread, and then to do the eye cut, and then to do the fly silk or top silk, and then they do the weaving, and then they bring to sell at the market or the wait for the buyers to come. These weavers, they want to be group, but the problem is market moving by. Because if they buy, if they sell, they have to sell with high price. Because everything they have to, to buy, everything is at the tax is on top. Fang Mai Gallery is run by two sisters, Kong Tong and Vian Kam, Nan Tavong Daong Si, from Sam Nyong province, who began to weave at six years of age under the expert guidance of their mother. They both continue to work together to supervise the entire weaving process at Fang Mai in an extended family manner, where the weavers are part of the design planning, color choice, and deft sense of tradition and skill. They pay a good money also, so that's why they quite have a lot of staff for the weaving for, for them. So, and some people, they, they uh, from, I mean, from their from countryside, right? They have their rent apartment for them, a room, a room for them for stay. Or some people, they, they have family, they have to go back home by themselves. So they open from 8 a.m. until 5 or 6 p.m. It was in 1990 that Feng Mai first opened its gallery and hand loom weaving facilities to train the people of Lao and other in the intricate skills and techniques required to produce Lao textiles. Their textiles are created from various types of silk thread, from one cocoon they gather three to four qualities 
of yarn. The thread from the outer layer is chosen for a durable textured fabric. The finer second and third layers are ideal for their superior lustrous accessories and signature quality contemporary design. They use both the natural yellow silk from a specific kind of cocoon only grown in Laos, which provides a natural look and soft texture and use the white silk more for its pastel color. Natural dyes are used. They are able to continue dyeing using the same techniques that have been used by their ancestors. In order to keep a high standard and consistency in the colors, they are very selective about the plants they use to extract their natural colors from. In 2006, Vien Kham wrote and published the book Sin and Lao Women and was a co-writer of the book Legends in the Weaving and author of a small book, Weaving Cloths, Weaving Naga. After reading these books, one looks within even greater admiration at the incredible accomplishments of Lao weavers and the importance of Lao textiles in understanding Lao culture.